here we are with Harem and the Labyrinth of Another World, episode 7. And yeah, because of the new format, um, I will watch the censored version. So, if because if there's anything at the bottom of the screen that shouldn't be shown, then yeah. Right? Because of that, it will be censored. Um, you can watch the uncensored version if you want to watch along. And I will probably also watch the uncensored version afterwards. <laughs> To see what I missed, obviously. Um, but yeah, if you like what you see, leave a like, subscribe, or comment. Let me know what you think. And I would say let's get to the episode. Here we go. I mean, that's kind of why he hired you, right? To protect, basically. <clears throat> level 3 only. That's a very low level. <clears throat> Okay. Seems like an easy target, right? Only level three. In a room where you can't escape from, apparently. Oh, he gets the got the mage job. Self destruct. Equivalent change. Yeah, self-destruct sounds pretty bad. Okay. <clears throat> oh, that's also not good. Yeah. You have... You need the knowledge to know if you can survive or not. <laughs> I can't see shit. Is it? He's only level three. Yeah, the last time he killed people, it was pretty much in the dark, and he didn't really had a clear vision of the enemies too, right? What happened? Huh? I didn't see anything, it was just a black screen. What happened? Oh. <clears throat> so his MP got... Got absorbed, basically. God damn. That's also bad because of how MP works, right? That if you have only very little MP that you get, like, really exhausted and depressed. Okay. Well, he's dead, right? Is this blood? <laughs> what did you do to this bandit, dude? Self-destruct orb. Oh, <laughs> so he expects that he uses up to kill himself. How convenient. <laughs> Man, having low MP is 
hits hard, right? <clears throat> so I'm a bit confused. So did the dude die because he had less MP than Michio? Can you really die like that or die from like zero MP if you have no MP that you can die? Basically like health? That would be crazy if it works the same way, right? <clears throat> and I mean, I'm still confused if Michio would have really died if the HP would have been absorbed that ass. Would a level 3 Bennett have more HP than Michio? Okay. I mean, it makes sense. Go to the Labyrinth, slay some weak-ass monster, replenish your MP with the Durandal, right? I mean, he has Roxanne with him, so that there shouldn't be a problem. <laughs> Again. I wonder if that is the case for everyone, that low MP does that to you, or if it's maybe just a Michio thing. Because... Because Roxanne seems... to not know it, maybe? But maybe that's because she isn't very knowledgeable when it comes to magic. Walls. Warps. Fireball. <coughs> God damn, that's a big ball. So can he just learn spells or use spells when he knows? What it basically is. Like. He said multiple things. Came to fireball. And. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> so if he knows how a spell is called basically. In this case fireball. Then he can use it. Is it that easy for him? I mean you can also defeat it in one hit with a sword. But it costs MP, right? So if he uses it too much, he gets exhausted again. Firewall. Firewall reminds me of Ragnarok Online. I mean, that's what it says, right? <laughs> Imagine you could make a firewall and then somehow push it along one of the corridors and then it just burns everything in the path. That would be crazy. Exactly. But I mean, he has a sword, so that's super broken, right? He can use magic, slice enemies, recover MP, and use more magic. So it's super convenient that he has a sword. Two enemies. Firestorm! <laughs> Dude is getting crazy strong right now with the magic. Indeed it is. Elements and conditions. And the storm. Breeze, sand, okay. So now he can use everything because he knows how it works. Wow. Dude, he can just... Dude, you have... You can just have infinite amounts of water, basically. How convenient. <laughs> I never thought about it. 
that you could maybe use water magic and just use it as like drinking supplies. Yeah, indeed. I wouldn't want that either if I were in your shoes. So if he kills monsters the whole time, is Roxanne leveling two? I mean, magic seems really useful and really strong, so getting better at it seems like a good idea, I would say. Yeah, he doesn't need that, I guess. Or maybe he does. Maybe it would make him stronger. Or maybe he could cast magic faster. Okay, a huge labyrinth. I guess it makes sense that at a huge labyrinth that there is many merchants, right? Because I guess many people go in the labyrinth. So this is a boss room at floor 2? I didn't pay attention to what it said. I guess so. Yeah, it is. Okay. <clears throat> okay, is it another tree or what is it? A laugh? A Caterpie? A huge ass Caterpie. <laughs> Just use fire should be super effective. And an incantation. Oh, firewall. Super effective. Ooh. Slice you, slice you. <laughs> Seems easy. I would imagine a big caterpillar like that can't move fast. Off to level 3. Do we get new monster types? In level 1 it was trees, in level 2 it was trees and caterpies, so now we have level 3. Cobalt. Yeah, we don't know how much stronger the enemies get per level, right? There he is. Does he have a knife? He has. And he's ugly as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> and it's dead. One firebolt and it's good enough. Dude, I would imagine... Okay, suitable for beginners. I would imagine that kobolds must be annoying to fight, right? Because they are so small. <laughs> Not worth picking up. Yeah, I guess it like hardens you, right? That you get like ready to kill like humanoid enemies. But a knife. Yeah, right, I would like to know too. <clears throat> I guess that's... I, it seems pretty high, right? 
<laughs> Keep it a secret. Don't tell anyone. I would assume so. Yeah, we don't really have, like... We don't really know what is normal in this world, right, when it comes to level. I mean, we saw some more grown-up bandits that were, like, level 15. I didn't pay attention. I have to rewatch that part. Imperial Capital. Okay, so she's like, don't pay for me. <clears throat> One silver. No, leaving her behind. Oh, so you have to be have to be in a party to use a portal of someone else. Seems pretty useful, right? Because then you can just open a, a, a portal, move through it, and no one can follow you. So I guess it can be really good to escape. This is so MMO-like, right? If you have, like, a class that can open, like, portals or sh some shit to teleport you around. In many MMOs, they take a fee if it's, like, for strangers, right? They want payment for... To use it for someone. Like, World of Warcraft, for example, if a mage uses the portals, they take a fee. So, again, it's, like, something that is, like, very MMO-like. And he is exhausted again. Maybe the distance he travels takes it takes more mana the further he travels. And he basically made a save point. I guess it works that way if if he knows or if he if he already went to that location, he probably can go back to it, I guess. Oh, do we get sexy time now? I guess so. Looks good. <laughs> but man, this episode, he is like exhausted a lot, right? Every few minutes he's exhausted <laughs> from all the MP he used. Hello. No, 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 let me do that. <laughs> Yeah, I guess in the censored version, they also mute the sound, right? There is no moaning. <laughs> Why do they censor a kiss? <laughs> the whole screen is censored. <laughs> Again. Goddamn. <laughs> Beep. <laughs> I have to definitely re definitely rewatch that. Most likely. <laughs> making too much noise? <laughs> Is he worried about it? 
then they can go all out. No hesitations, no holding back. <laughs> okay, we we are still going. Okay. I mean, we have like two minutes more or so. <clears throat> okay, it's a labyrinth again. Is this a different labyrinth now? Yeah. So is this labyrinth in the middle of the town? I guess so. Do you go through the crystal? I mean, yeah, you also went like through a portal in the tree, right? Oh, this one you have to pay for. Okay. Better make money. <clears throat> oh. Can we? I mean, I I just thought about it, right? Because he can teleport into por uh, into into the labyrinths, but maybe he has to visit first, right? I guess that's how it works. Okay, that was the episode, and let me know what you think. But I think it was a pretty good episode, right? We got more knowledge, basically, um, like more M MMO basically features like people pay for teleportation services to move to the next location faster right to the like to the uh, imperial capital or whatever and instead of having like to walk for days or <clears throat> having to pay for an entrance fee for a labyrinth which is interesting right um but roxanne said they could use a teleport of michios to to go in for free but doesn't he have to first go there before he can do it? Basically, like with the capital, right? Or maybe for labyrinth, for a labyrinth, it maybe works differently. That's something I'm confused about. Um, <clears throat> um, but I mean, money shouldn't really be a big problem for Michio, right? Because he can basically get the crystals and just use the skill to fill them up thirty-two times faster, and just make money super fast or not so i would imagine money shouldn't be a big issue right you should make more enough money with the crystals if you would do that um and i would guess otherwise he is super strong for being like new and everything right and being young he's like i guess above average uh, when it comes to like age and what he can do so I and he has Roxanne, who's also pretty good. So I would imagine he should be able to make enough money in like one trip to be able to pay for it. But I mean, if it's free, it's free, right? So that's not a big, a big issue. And then like the whole beginning scene, I really thought from last episode that we would get a bit more action, a bit more blood against uh, fighting bandits again. And it just turned out we go to this one bandit that tried to run away and then we just kill him, which I'm... Like I said in the episode, I'm confused how it works exactly. Because it takes something from you and the enemy, basically, right? So I guess if it takes HP from you, it takes H HP from the enemy. And it just goes until one of them is dead, I guess? Because Michio said, if he has more HP than I have, then I'm dead. Um, so I just, I think it just takes everything, maybe? Or like it takes everything of one and then who has something left has it left right so in this case it seemed like what michio said it took the mp and so his mp was pretty uh, was probably drained a lot which is why he was so exhausted right and that completely destroyed the enemy so it makes me wonder did the enemy got completely obliterated because of the spell like that's how the spell works whoever loses everything on of what is taken it just gets completely obliterated or would it also happen if you are completely exhausted in the, in the episode i i said um i was wondering about it too and said maybe if you get drained of your whole mp maybe you die right but i think now thinking about it it's probably the spell right the one who loses everything just gets killed, basically. I guess that's what it does. I guess when you're completely exhausted, then 
you're just super exhausted, right? I think that's what it is. I, I think I overthought it a little bit <laughs> in the episode. Um, but yeah, otherwise, the scene at the end that was completely censored. Hell yeah. <laughs> Pretty good, I would say. Um, and when she said, you can a little harder, she was really into it. Um, so, yeah, I mean, now we are going to the next labyrinth which is in the middle of the city, basically, but I mean, not really, it's just like the entry point is in the middle of the city, and then you go through a portal, and then you go into the labyrinth, which makes me wonder. So, the teleport points are at one location, right? In the, the first labyrinth was basically the teleport point in a tree, and now the next one is in the city on a, like, stone slate or whatever, and... Where do they lead? Telep do they teleport you to a random location far away? Or is the labyrinth maybe somewhere in the, in the city now, for example, the second labyrinth? Is the labyrinth, like, maybe deep down below, so that it is close by? That's what I'm wondering. Are they close by from where the teleport point is, the warp, the portal is? Or are they far away, maybe? Um, I would imagine that they should be close by, because from what it seems like in this episode, when Michio teleports a bigger distance, he gets more exhausted and takes more MP. And because when he came from the capital back to Roxanne, he was super exhausted from using it. Um, while when he used his portal, when Roxanne and Michio went into the, into the labyrinth for the first time, he wasn't exhausted from doing it, so it should be maybe a shorter distance. So I guess the, the labyrinth should be close by, right? But like I said, if it's like in the middle of the city, where is it? The only thing I could imagine is that it's maybe like deep underground. Because it has to be deep. Because labyrinths grow and go up, I think. So, yeah, if if it's a big labyrinth, it must be deep underground because it goes up, right? And if it's like big, then it goes further up. Um, but yeah, again, interesting episode. A little bit disappointed that we didn't get more fighting against bandits at the beginning. Um... And otherwise, yeah, some int also, yeah, the whole magic part is also, like, a bit confusing for me. Like, how does it work? I mean, he knows, I, I guess it works. I don't know if it's, just for, if it's just the case for Michio or everyone, that it's just, like, as soon as you know what it's called, you can cast it. If you have enough mana, basically. I guess it's not the same for everyone, because you have to be a mage to learn it, right? You have to be a mage to be able to use magic. And Michio said he is a mage. So, but I mean, if you are a mage, do you just have to know what it's called and then you can use it? No incantations or anything? Or maybe it's just Michio that can use it without incantation and can just say fireball, bam, or firewall, um, water wall. Um, maybe other mages have, like, maybe they have to, to say a whole incantation um to be able to cast it so that's another thing i think that could be interesting to know because there are still things that we don't know what is the norm and what isn't right we just know we just find out that a lot isn't the norm based on what roxanne is saying like you're already level 20 that's super high for you for your age and all that stuff so i mean we saw other banners that were like more grown up a bit i would say and they were like level 14 15 and stuff like that so yeah, I guess. But it's still not enough, I would say, to really know, like, what is normal and what is not um, in this world. And, like, how the whole magic part works. Because magic, we just know from Michio now how it works, basically. But we don't know how it works for, like, other mages. So that would be interesting to see, maybe, how other mages work. If they need full incantations or if they also can just say fireball and done. And if they can use any magic as soon as they know, because it seems rather easy, right? If you just need to know what the spell is called, like for example, Fireball, then a mage could just tell another mage, yeah, this spell is called this, and this spell is called this, and now you have all the spells that that there are, right? Now you know all the spells. Um, so there is not really something to learn, right? Because you just you could just write everything down, hand it out to everyone on, on a sheet of paper, and be like, okay, now you know all the spells. Remember these names, fireball, firewall, firestorm, and all that stuff for every, like, different thing, element, and bam, done. So, I would say there must be more to it. I guess just Michio has a super easy time to do it, right? But yeah, 
I'm talking enough, I think. <laughs> Again, good episode, good information, I would say. Good end scene, I would say. And can't wait for the next episode. And I really wonder when we will maybe see the next girl. I think all the girls we see in the intro and at the in the second episode, I think is just teaser, right? To show, oh, there are so many girls, haha. <laughs> Um, but I don't think that we will see all of them. So I'm wondering when we will see the next one, right? Um, but yeah, I guess we will find out, maybe, by just watching the rest of the season. <laughs> but yeah, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. If you like what you saw, leave a like, subscribe, or comment. Let me know what you thought about this episode. And I would say until next time. Bye-bye.